My intellect is without limit. Nice back. School phase MTG. Welcome back, everybody. I just want to start this video off by saying I owe the entire arena community an apology because I started this Goblin Mayhem madness that's going on on Arena Historic. I was the first content creator to post a Goblin deck to YouTube. And ever since then, it's just grown like wildfire. Everybody was on the elf train when I was doing goblins. And now it seems like people are abandoning the elf train and everybody's hopping on goblins now because I cannot tell you how many goblin decks I face today in historic. So I know if it's that getting that bad for me, everybody else probably is suffering from similar situations. So fear not, I'm here to save the day once again. I'm here to put an end to the madness that I helped start. <laughs> so I got a, a, a very evil brew here. Uh, this is a Lich and a Phyrexian Scriptures brew. Um, if you don't know what Phyrexian Scriptures is, it's a, it's a car from Dominaria. It's a saga. Um, it basically destroys everything except, uh, destroys all creatures except uh, artifact creatures. So, um, I got some real good synergies going with this card. Um, the deck has a lot of synergies going within it, um, it as a whole. So, uh, this deck is, I came up with this as a way to, uh, stop all of the tribal madness that's going on in, in historic right now. There's a lot of tribal decks going on right now. There's, there's elves, there's vampires with veto, um, there's the goblins and uh, a few other tribal decks um, that aren't as good, but they're, they're, they're still existent. So um, with all the fast tribal decks that just want to just go ahead and try to get you to zero life as fast as possible, I came up with this deck. Um, and, and it's really good against other decks outside of the realm of tribal decks. But Historic is overrun with tribal, tribal aggro right now. So... Um, this this deck will definitely do wonders for you, especially if you're looking to get into mythic or you know compete at the higher levels and uh, advance in rank. I definitely uh, recommend this. So let's get into the tech. Um, I got four Ozolith, uh, three Maze Mind Tome. Um, I used to didn't like this card, but I experimented with this card in this deck, and I actually like it in this deck. I know I said that this deck um, didn't have very much standard potential when I did my my uh my spoiler video uh back when m21 was being spoiled but uh yeah this deck this card has a it has a it puts in some solid work in this deck um i got three mind stone three murderous rider four phylactory lich this card is the all-star of the deck because it can be pretty much impossible to get rid of uh for some opponents depending on what deck what type of deck they're playing um i got four which is vengeance uh, I chose this over Cry of Carnarian because, like I said, there's a lot of tribal decks going on right now. So this is excellent against tribal decks. I mean, you go up against elves, this annihilates elves. This goal, you go up against goblins, it annihilates goblins and vampires and, and everything. You get to pick which creature type you want to wipe off the field, and you get to leave all of your stuff there untouched. So um, this card is really good. Of course... Um, when you're going against non-tribal decks and you're playing best of three, you want to side in Cry of Carnarium, which I do have in the sideboard, um, if you need it. Uh, I'm running th uh, four Crystalline Giant, two Caravec the Spiteful. Another card that I said I didn't really care too much for, didn't really like during M21 spoilers. But in this deck, it actually works really well, especially against these, like I said, high power, high aggro uh um tribal builds that that everybody's running in and historic right now four phyrexian scriptures three con scion of urza two ugin ineffable um uh, i'm not running the big ugin i'm just running this the six drop ugin the big ugin is really unnecessary meat in the deck so i don't even recommend putting him in this build uh but of course if you want him in here you can throw him in here uh two castle lockwang 20 swamp and two Karns bastion and then for the sideboard, I got two Duress, three Agonizing Remorse, four Cry of Carnarium, one Murderous Rider, three Necromentia, and two e uh, Extinction Event. So, of course, a lot of this is geared towards 
combo decks or um, control decks you want to bring in the hand disruption uh spells um like i said if you're going against a deck that's a non-tribal aggro deck like there is a tokens deck that uh tries to get out a bunch of little one one tokens and then use uh transmography to fling in uh go ahead and fetch up and fling in uh um crater hoof so you can definitely use this you know you want you want to bring cry canary in if you're going against that deck because um the the witch's revenge will not hit all of the tokens because they are generally they're different creature types so just bring this in and take care of those little one ones uh necromentia or going against call uh, decks that have key cards in them that can be problematic for instance this deck as as a whole will do really well you can wreck elves um elves and goblins you know going in best of one but if you're playing best of three and you have the opportunity to sideboard in uh sideboard anything in i would recommend bringing in necromentia to get rid of uh muxus out of out of the goblin build because muxus is really the only card that can be problematic for you um once they get to six mana and drop a muxus then he can fling in a bunch of goblins as we know and there will be a lot of times they'll have haste and that can be problematic so you want to go ahead and bring in necromentia and best of three and go ahead and get muxus out of there the deck how it functions is your ideal situation will be you want to go into a turn one ozolith um into one of these two drops on on turn two and then you want to turn three go ahead and play lich put your counter on the ozolith and then when you go into your combat step the ozolith will put the uh phylactory counter on your lich so now you don't have to worry about something happening to the artifact or you know it, it being bounced or or something like that and then you lose your Lich because the Lich will now have the Philaptory counter on him. He's indestructible. So if they're going to get rid of him, they're going to get rid of him. You don't have to worry about them um, two for one you by getting rid of the artifact. And then it inherently gets rid of the Lich. So, so it's a sweet little synergy um, that I found with Lich and the Obsolith. Um, Crystal and Giant, of course, excellent with the Obsolith. Uh, pretty much if, if you end up getting Hexproof on your crystal and giant and then they end up killing it some kind of way and you can put that hexproof counter on the lich now you basically have a five five indestructible that they can't target they can't get rid of and it it, it will just be a nightmare for them you just wreck shop um all of the removal like i said it it makes any kind of aggro creature heavy strategy a nightmare um the phyrexian scriptures so keep in mind that you can pretty much lock up your opponent's uh, next oncoming turns with Phyrexian Scriptures because you play it and then they know all this stuff is going to die so they don't advance their board. So if you're ahead of them in board state and then you play Phyrexian Scriptures, you stall them out. So if you have a Lich out and you're ahead of them, you play Phyrexian Scriptures, the Lich gets a counter. They know if they play anything else, it's all going to die <laughs> when it comes back to your turn. So you kind of stall them out and make them to where they can't play anything. Um, Phyrexian Scriptures kills everything on your opponent's side a lot of the times if they're not running any artifact creatures and it pretty much doesn't kill any of your stuff. If you have Karavik out and you play Phyrexian uh, Scriptures, you can put the plus one counter on him and turn him into an artifact so you don't lose him. You can do the same thing with your Murderous Rider so you don't lose your Murderous Rider. So... Everything else that you get, any other creature that you would get, other than Ugin Spirits, of course, we don't care about killing Ugin Spirits, though, because that's card advantage. Those cards will come back to our hand anyway, so we're not as hurt to lose them. But Karn's Constructs that we make, they don't die. Um, your Crystalline Giants don't die. So it, there's a lot of sweet synergy going on in this deck. Um, you'll see in the gameplay, it's a nightmare for a lot of decks. A lot of decks don't even want to deal with this. They don't even want to try to play against this deck. They Once they see what's happening, they, they, they just go ahead and concede. I had a hard time trying to get some real quality matches with this deck because A, people would see what's going on and they would just go ahead and concede. Or B, I was playing against goblins and I would just wreck goblins. So pretty much every other match in this gameplay footage is going to be goblins. It'll be a match against some deck like some some other type of deck and then the net the batch after that will be goblins so it'll be uh deck and then goblin deck and then goblin you know that, that's how many goblin decks that i face so i just decided to just go ahead and just show 
all of those times where I was just wrecking Goblin so you could see how it works and see how it just, it's a nightmare for Goblin. It's a nightmare for Goblins. They cannot deal with this deck. The only chance that they have is to get off a, a Muxus and hope that Muxus gets them some action that they can go ahead and kill you in one swing. If they can't do that, then they just lose. There's no way that Goblins can beat this deck unless they get a lucky Muxus hit off. So there's enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Yeah. Nice hand. Jacobs. You you playing goblins too? Oh my gosh. This is like the ninth goblin dick. Alright, go ahead and scry. Thought everybody was on the elf train. Now all of a sudden everybody's on goblins. I have to blame myself. <laughs> I wonder how many of these people that are playing goblins they are subscribers of mine. Alright, let me scry. Uh don't need another land. Play my lich. Alright. If he plays a chieftain, then Karavik will not kill his guys. Plays a war chief, I'll play Karabig. If not, then I'll just have to play scriptures and wait a whole turn for his guys to die. Let me stop my upkeep here. See what I see what I got on top. Play a war chief. Don't play a chieftain. <laughs> oh man. Alright. See what I got. I don't need you. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and kill your guys. Take five. Jacobs. Don't turn into a werewolf on me. <laughs> All right, I just played Karabik here. You guys die. Spiteful, flicking them like fleas. <laughs> oh, wish I had another land. I'm gonna keep it. Any hand in historic that has mass removal right now is is a keeper. <laughs> At the point historic has gotten to with all this tribal rush going on. Uh oh. Playing goblins? Uh you let me get my mind stone down. Playing goblins, yard snake. You should be playing snakes. Not goblins. Oh, no, you're not playing goblins. Playing group? Burning tree emissary is gone. Oh. That's not a burning tree emissary. Um Get Karn down. Make a construct. Drove of the mighty. Who is he? This is... Oh. oh, he's got two of them. And a raptor. Alright, what was Drove of the mighty? Uh, adds mana, gets plus two, plus two. As long as you control a dinosaur. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and the Raptor. Alright, he makes stuff cheap. <laughs> um, I think, I just want to remove the drovers. <clears throat> Get those out of here. Um, I'll play my book. Get a construct. And, uh, <clears throat> swing in for four here. And block if you'd like. I wouldn't mind at all if you did. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Got some some more snakes with legs. Dinosaurs. Got 
fetch up your land. Oh, playing Naya. Nyasaurus. You gonna swing? Huh? No. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> uh, I don't need a land. Alright, uh, go ahead and plus. Lands, lands, lands. How unfortunate. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and uh, roast your dinosaurs. Go ahead and uh, play my match. Godzilla. Swing. Ten. Got any answers? Looking pretty grim for you. Got some hasty dinosaurs? <laughs> Where's the artifacts, man? I'm gonna keep it. Alright. Hopefully I can draw an artifact here. Oh, man. No one else. I'm on the clock. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna pull the trigger on my vengeance yet. Let them invest some more resources. Alright, uh, I think I wanna just play scriptures. So the board will get clear on my next turn. They won't, they won't be able to play anything and I can play Karn. And their board will get clear. So it'll it'll be like me playing two spells in one turn. Why are you making that? It's gonna die. You're sending it to its doom. Alright. Go ahead and get Karn down now. He'll be rather safe. He's both of our friend, Karn. The 1-1 one, one construct. Alright. I'm gonna halt their board by playing another scripture. Go ahead and make another one. Swing in. You like to block? Should've blocked. Your elf is gonna die anyway. What are you saving it for? <laughs> they don't want none of it. <laughs> oh man, two lands on the play. I uh, can't keep that. All right, I'll keep this. Um, uh, what I want to put back? Well, I don't have an Ozolith, so let's put the Lich back. If I had an Ozolith, I'd like I, I would have kept the Lich. Great chip. Alright. Number 242. Oh man. And he's playing goblins. You climb the 242 with goblins? Let's kill him. <laughs> <clears throat> Get those goblins out of here. Probably like Karavik. Who plays that card? Well, let's go ahead and kill your war chief. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, I think I want to advance my board state. Play my Ozolith. Swing with Karavik here. <clears throat> I want I want the Goblin deck to have to try to advance and catch up to me. I don't want to be trying to. Advance and catch up to the goblins. You got a bunch of one ones. It's probably like, man, what is this deck? Oh man, you're not even playing stacks. Um, uh, stacks goblins. Playing ringleader, main board. All right, let's go ahead and kill your war chief now. Won't be Jim Palm in my Karavik 
for two. Not next turn anyway. Uh, I'm gonna hang the Mitch back. Swing with Karavik. Keep the Mitch back in case he plays a Chieftain or something. Yeah. He's looking at my Karavik. On Jim Palmet for one. <laughs> and hope you draw into another one. No. Just another ringleader. Let me draw a card. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Alright. Um, let me go ahead and play scriptures. Put the counter on my Karavik. So you won't be... The uh, gem palm for two won't kill him. You can block. If you'd like. Since your stuff's gonna die anyway. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if he's playing Muxus. He he's getting close to Muxus mana. He's uh he's at five. Right. Uh oh. Gym palm. Two. Got another one? Got another one? Oh, all right, chain world. Well, <clears throat> you lose all your stuff just to just to get rid of Karavik. And I'm gonna hit you for a lot. Oh, and another scripture. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely hitting you for a lot now. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> well, unless you can kill me with haste right now, you're dead. 242. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Lame crawler. What a name. Oh, I like books. Keep that there. Maybe that means I'm lame. I like books. I like scrying with books. Go ahead and play Lich. Can't use my book all the way, but it'll be fine. Let's see, has some kind of bounce. What are you playing? Simic Flash? Simic Control? No. Oh. <laughs> Simic Ramp. Spry. Don't need that. I'm gonna stop my upkeep so I can scry. Control my next draw. Oh, these ramp decks. Uh, I don't need a land. All right, draw. Alright, that's that's cool. Oh wait. Alright. Alright. Go ahead and get me a... I need cards, so me, yeah, I need cards. I'm sure I'll get the land. <laughs> Karns plus one should just be plus one search for basic land, because that's how often I get a basic land off of plus one. Alright. You wanna ramp some more? Your lands aren't hurting me. My lich is hurting you though. Gonna have you crawling in pain. Gonna have you holding true to your name. Crawling in pain. <laughs> oh, a mirror. I like mirror. I don't like him enough to let him live though, so go ahead and get him out of here. So he can bring forth bad things for me. Give me a construct. And you can take another five. You do plan on bringing more than just lands to this matchup, right? Oh! Oh, little Ugin. 
I didn't think anybody else was playing him other than me. Alright. Well, I'm gonna roast your spirit. <clears throat> I'll get a construct. Play my Ozolith. And Lich will kill Ugin. And the constructs front construct slaps you for four. Come on, man. Go ramp some more. Spend another turn ramping. Y'all almost said y'all almost said Ugin, man. Ugin can't even really save you at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing Ugin can do is get rid of my Lich. Alright. Have your Euro. Alright. Um. Well, I got a Scriptures here. In Exile. I just have to wait a turn to be able to kill his Euro. Unless I draw a land and I can drop Ugin. Oh. Alright. Well, sometimes all it takes is a little bit of luck. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, kill his Euro. Now he's obligated to block. I'm gonna plus here. Wait, yeah, I'm gonna plus. I need the cards. Oh, I need the land, I should say. <laughs> that's all I'm going to get is the land. Alright. I'm going to swing all out. He's obligated to block or die. How much land do you have? Four, five, six, seven. Can you get to Ulamog some kind of way? About the only thing that can get you out of this mess. You've dug yourself in quite a hole. Oh, I don't worry of. So you do have things. <laughs> well, I have witches vengeance, so. Alright. Two elves. Two elves, a bird, and a mirror. Alright. Well, go ahead and get my Witch's Vengeance. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Alright. <laughs> go ahead and uh, roast your elves. Play my Mitch. Give me a Spirit. Yeah, good game. Wing. It hurts. I know. <laughs> I said good game, man. Good game. <laughs> Mike. I want to be like Mike. No, Mike wants to be like me. Play goblins. <laughs> All right, man. Goblins is just so deep right now. Uh, go ahead and play my lich. Let him advance his boy a little more before I pop the vengeance. Go ahead, play more stuff. Do it. Do it. Archie. Alright. Alright. Go ahead and uh get my mind stone down and play vengeance. Goblins. And you can take five. Punish you for not playing the stacks version of goblins. Uh these people with these ringleaders. All right, let's go ahead and get scriptures down. 
Wing for six. Might as well block. Gonna die anyway. <laughs> Pabs. And some Chikintha. Oh, Grim Lava Man. This is the first deck I've seen playing Grim Lava Mancer. Wanna smack me for one? Grim, not, Grim Lava Mancer doesn't get very much attacking in. Usually, in whatever deck he is in, he's just just his ability. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get the match down. Gonna waste some burn spells on my mid. Oh no, my face. Oh. Oh. It burned my mid. Why didn't you attack with your Grim Blob Um, let's go ahead and kill your humans. Your humans. You gonna burn me? You gonna roast me for two? <laughs> All right. All right. Like you want to roast my humans? Get what you deserve. Oh, putting your gift in your hand. Let me draw a card then. All right. Didn't really need that, but. Oh, my book. Um, I could play the scriptures to delay him from playing the Gintha. Um, could just cast this out and next turn play the scriptures and put a counter on this. No, no, I, I just want to, I'm going to save that to, to kill Gintha. Use my book for now. Cry. Yeah, I don't need that. Stop my upkeep. Alright. Plays this Giganta this turn. Uh, I'll kill it. Yeah. Kill it. Alright. Alright. I don't need another one of those. Raw. Oh. Man. Man. All right. I have a murder shrider. You have nothing. Oh. Oh, two cards to get rid of my murder shrider? All right. I'll take that trade. Don't need that. Ugh. Alright. Oh, these lava runners. Alright. Well, I'm gonna gain some life back here, so that's a good thing. All these lands. Oh my gosh. Alright, let me go ahead and kill your lava runner. Kill him. Yeah, I need some action. Alright, that's action. That is action. An immovable object. All right, I'm just gonna keep him off of anything that he can play with these uh, scriptures.
Yes. It will destroy whatever you try to play. Yeah, this one is this one is over now. <laughs> Can't play anything. It'll just die. That's fine. You're gonna smack me for two. Hit me for three. Alright. Why didn't you just hit me for two? <laughs> oh. Uh, I guess I keep this. Need some more black. Need some more black mana. Oh, Dr. Slam. Dr. Slam, PhD. Playing against a doctor. Playing brain, brain dead mono red. <laughs> Yeah, let me go ahead and get my Mind Stone down here. I'm sorry, world. I'm I'm one of the main causes behind this Goblin Fiasco now on Arena. But I'm making things right. Go ahead and vengeance here. I'm making things right by showing you all how to stop the goblins. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get Lich. Alright, have your matron. What are you fetching? Oh. Prospector. Hurting on manas, huh? Alright, well. Scriptures will not allow you to have <laughs> go ahead and play your prospect so he can die oh he's playing it one of these people even read scriptures did you not read scriptures you're you're just wasting your cards Oh, Trash Master. Alright, Trash Master ain't gonna save you. My Lich on the field is now an artifact, so I'll just play another Lich. Put the counter on my artifact Lich. Yeah, Trash Master, he can sacrifice himself. Alright. Put my counter here. Now you can't. Doesn't matter if you blow up my Mind Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor goblins. <sighs> Malfeasance. Wonder who told them to name themselves that. Your significant other come to that decision. Name yourself. Make your arena name Malfeasance. Really cool. <laughs> Oh, all these Trilands. What is this person playing? Counter? Revitalize. Alright. Hmm. All Trilands. Okay, well, you can't fetch up any Trilands. Is this person playing? Colors are here. Soul tie. All colors. They're probably playing all colors. They play to revitalize. It's five colors something. Um. Uh, I don't know what they're playing. I don't want to. I don't want to overcommit to the board. 
because I don't really know what I'm up against here. They're playing all colors. So they they're most likely running board wipes. I'll just make them have to deal with the lich for now. What's this person doing? Oh! Shrines! They're playing shrines! Alright. I didn't need all of it. Uh, go ahead and play this. In case they have any creatures. That way, whatever, if they play any creatures, creatures will die. I can keep swinging. Ryan's ain't gonna save you. Oh! Oh man, settle. Alright. Well, I'm glad I didn't play my crystalline giant. Alright. So I'm up against Shrine's control. Sanctum of all. Alright. All right, well, Ugin. Uh, I can need to kill this five color one. That's the problematic one. All right, then Phyrexian scriptures will. Oh, I can play my crystalline giant too. All right, Phyrexian scriptures will. will uh, Exile his graveyard so he won't be getting that back unless he gets it back this turn. Oh. Got all the board wipes, huh? Oh, you have no graveyard now. <laughs> I have a spirit. And now I have another crystalline giant. Got some shrines for me. Malfeasance. He's not a shrine. Can't get him back from the graveyard either. <laughs> now right now you can't. No board wipe? Alright, I'll proliferate. Yes! <laughs> Get a spirit. Just gonna control him with Ugin now. Oh man. <laughs> clear. And they clear. Please don't be another goblin. Oh, mountain. Might be another goblin deck. Come on now. Oh. I don't think it's goblins. I don't think it's goblins playing a Mind Stone. I don't think I've ever seen a mono red deck play Mind Stone. Maybe he's, maybe he's land screwed. Hmm. Interesting. I have another one. Let's see if you can do that again. Yes. Take action. <laughs> you got clear? Your tears? Are your tears clear? Is that why your name is clear? Are you going to cry some, some clear tears? From the stomping you're gonna get from me? Or maybe I'm the one that's gonna get the stomping. <laughs> maybe his name is a subliminal message to me. Meaning I'm gonna cry clear tears. Alright. Go ahead and get Karn down. Uh, 
Eat some cards. Too lame. Of course. Uh. Yeah, it's vigilant, so. You can block. It's fine. Oh, Chandra. Well, this is a different kind of a red deck. Alright, uh, go ahead and get a construct. Uh, could play this card. Get another construct. No. Think I'll just chill. Put everything on my construct here. Playing against a unique red deck here. Oh, Ugin. <laughs> well, I definitely did not expect that. Clear, you're definitely, you're trying to induce some clear tears here, for me. All right, let me draw a card. The giant heart. Yeah, I needed that. you <laughs> moving out of here. Don't need him hanging around. And I'll play my giant. Swing at your Chandra. Get her away from ultimate. Caught in the crossfire. And both of my guys have hexproof. Excellent. Can't point anything at their faces. So what? Can't make them cry. Clear tears. So he's playing like some kind of artifact ramp. Burn with walkers. Very interesting. Well, I need to attack Chandra because I need her out of here. So I'm going to have to Let me play Khan first. Uh, need cards. Oh, time is not spell and land. <laughs> All right, play my book. Scry. No, wait, I can draw, actually. Sometimes I forget the book has that ability to let you draw. Ugh, land. All right. I'm going to swing both of these at Chandra. I need Chandra gone. Sure, the giant's gonna eat one, but she'll be that much closer to death. She is his source of card advantage. If I can get rid of her, he'll be in complete top deck mode. I don't really lose too much because of the Othalith. This is an interesting matchup. Oh, another Ugin. Oh, man. Oh, man, they're going to gang up on Karn. Karn. No. No, Karn. Oh, man. All right. Uh, Ugin's a problem. Let me draw a card here. Yeah, I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, I play this, give it hexproof. So that way, Ugin can't zap it for three. 
Play my mind stone here. How is he holding priority? What is he? Oh, his mind stones. <laughs> Are you gonna crack a mind stone? That's all you can do. Alright. Give my zombie knight hex proof. That way, if he wants to get rid of it, he's got a minus three on Ugin. I'll kill Chandra now. Get rid of your card advantage. Alright. Gotta play some creatures to protect Lugan to get his ultimate off. Alright. Good. Draw a card here. He's basically like playing the red version. <laughs> Red artifacts, and I'm playing black artifacts. Return to the of the Alright. I can, uh, which is vengeance, his, his chain whirler here. Go ahead and smack Ugin. Uh, draw a card with the book. Man, land flooded. Uh, yeah, I'll take action. Go ahead and smack Ugin. All right. Not threatened. So he can't target my guy. My guy's gonna have to be clutch here. Draw a card. Man, lands. Oh my god. Alright, uh. Go ahead and kill Ugin first. Draw a card. Yeah, goodbye, Ugin. Get out, get out of here. Stop talking. You're gone. You're dead. Alright. Man, but not on the lands here. I suspect my opponent probably is too, because he ain't doing much. Clear. Are oh, you drawing nothing but lands over there? That's all I'm doing. Sucks. Hello? You still there? All right. Thought about putting some head headron archives in here. Beef up my guy here. If I didn't have so many lands, I could draw some cards. Alright, can draw off my book. Go ahead, proliferate first. Alright, he's on the clock now. Hit and draw. All right, which is vengeance? It's better than the land. This turned out to be a really good matchup. Go ahead and draw. With rate. Oh, I didn't mean to do that to my book. I take seven. Got one turn to put something in the way. Play another book. Alright. I got card draw power now. In control of this. Unless he plays a... Oh. <laughs> He's, he went to cry tears. <laughs> I wonder how many goblin players I actually may cry with this deck. <laughs> um, as always, I hope everybody enjoyed the gameplay. If you have not already, please subscribe.
hit that bell and like this video. If you don't like this video, dislike this video, comment on the video, do something. Just interact with the video. It helps the channel out a whole lot. Um, and if you have not seen any of my recent videos, they will appear at the end of this video. So feel free to watch them. That also helps out my channel. <laughs> um, I'm greatly appreciative to everyone as always. And uh, happy FNM to everybody. It is Friday. So um, good luck with all of your MTG gameplay tonight. And um, I will be doing codes for this video in the arena group on Facebook. So if you are a member of the group, then uh, be on the lookout for when I do a post for this video uh, for a code giveaway. So, uh, yeah, uh, see you all next time.